Today I am playing gala number one, which is located about 18 miles away from Edinburgh. It is extremely windy today, so fingers crossed that wind calms down a little bit for me, but I'm looking forward to playing the course. It has hosted the Men's Scottish Open twice and the Women's Scottish Open, so it's always in really good condition. A short hole to start off with at 287 yards from the yellows. Aim at the white house with about a 200 yard shot, leaving yourself with a short wedge shot into the green. The second hole was actually the first hole during the Scottish Open and what a tough start. Straight uphill with a narrow green. Left myself with 181 yards into the flag. I pulled the shot a little bit and ended up here. Not exactly where you want to be but I was able to hit a not bad shot from where I was and hold my putt. The third tee box is the first of many stunning viewpoints you'll have across this golf course. You want to hit driver off the tee down the left hand side. I then hit six iron to lay up, leaving myself with 76 yards into the flag. Ended up a tad long with it being downwind and opted to putt from just off the green. First par three of the day, playing at 148 yards with a tabletop green and bunkers at the front. Missing this green can leave a tricky up and down as I found out. The fifth is a long par four back up the hill. It was made even longer today as it was straight into wind. It's a wide fairway though so you can give it a smack. Still had a long way to go with my second so I opted for my three wood. For my third, I hit my go-to link shot from around the green, which is putter from everywhere. Growing up playing Lynx golf, this shot has always been my safety. If I don't have to go over a bunker, I'm going to putt it. The six is only 299 yards, but it is deceiving as it's straight uphill. You want to aim at the right hand side as the fairway tends to kick to the left. I was left with 140 yards, I would suggest clubbing up and aiming at the right hand side of the green. The seventh tee box is the best viewpoint on the entire course. You can see gala number one, gala number two, the first of four, and then also the course you're about to see in the distance is the open championship course in your field. You definitely don't need driver for this tee shot. It's a heavily guarded ferry with six bunkers and is straight downhill. Hit 9 iron for my second shot, but the combination of being out the rough, downhill and downwind, the ball did not stop, leaving myself this long opportunity for birdie. The 8th hole has went through some changes over the years and has been extended to a dog leg to the right into a brand new green. This hole was playing particularly long into wind, so I hit my 3 wood for my next shot. The changes to this hole make it a really exciting test, especially when the prevailing wind is straight into. Next up, the ninth hole. Definitely one of my favourite holes of the day. It was your typical Lynx par 3, the furthest point out of the golf course, right next to the sea, and you even got another glimpse at Muirfield. With 175 yards to the pin, I hit my 5 iron. Unfortunately, I hit it a little bit too good and I ended up here. Not exactly where you want to be. I hit not a bad shot considering my lie, but still left myself some work to do for my part. That's it for part one of my very windy vlog at Gullen. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss part two.